All right, maybe if you or your kids need help with their schoolwork, this GPT is definitely going to be one worth checking out. All right, let's dive into it. Today, we're going to be looking at the TutorMe GPT from Khan Academy. All right, but before we do, let me tell you a little bit about what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream, podcast, and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So let's go ahead and learn some Gen AI and see how this new TutorMe GPT works. So if you haven't heard of uh, Khan Academy before, let me just tell you a little bit why this is probably going to be a pretty uh, popular GPT. So Khan Academy actually has the very popular uh, Conmigo, which is their kind of AI-based chatbot uh, for education. So uh, a very uh, popular kind of tool that has been around now for some time uh, that helps essentially tutoring for all. Uh, so this GPT, we'll see, it says it's kind of the uh, Conmigo Lite version. So pretty interesting. So let's just go ahead and um, jump in. So I'm actually going to use one of the, the starter prompts, which is something I normally don't do, but just so I can say, how are you different than regular Conmigo? So essentially what it's saying here is that this is a the light version, um, but there is some personalization still. Um, so Conmigo offers more personalization. Uh, it tracks your progress as you learn. So obviously in the GPT, it doesn't include those things. So uh, it looks like that's probably the biggest way is you don't have that ongoing uh, kind of learning companion. And each time you start uh, a new chat, you don't get to you know kind of pick up where you left off, at least um, in the same way that you do with Conmigo. So let's just go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and try to learn something. So I'm going to say, please help me learn long division. We'll see how that works. Um, I just thought of something randomly. I'm like, let me see what, uh, you know, someone in middle school, uh, you know, might want to learn. All right. So this is great. So it's saying, sure, let's start with long division. It's a great way to divide larger numbers. So, okay, this is good. It's just breaking it down. And then it's saying, um, it kind of wants to see if I know. So it's asking, can you try uh, 24 divided by eight? What's the first step you should take? So I don't know. Um, I guess see how many times uh, three goes into 24? Um, so I'm, I wasn't sure if, if it's asking me to answer it. So it looks like it's trying to understand uh, if I understand. So now it's asking me. So I'm going to say eight. All right. So this is cool. So you'll see it. It didn't just ask me a question. It gave me a problem. And then it kind of said, um, it's making sure that I understand, which is, you know, what a good, I guess, learning assistant should do. It shouldn't just give you a problem and ask if you know the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to hit refresh on this. And then we're going to try something a little more complex. All right. Well, I'm just going to say, uh, now, can you please help me learn about AI. So I'm going to kind of switch it up here. So we're going from long division to AI. Uh, so here we go. It's uh, again, it's asking me to start with the basics. So it's asking, you know, so it's saying, let's start with the basics. AI or artificial intelligence is like a computer brain that you can think. So now it's asking me what part of AI are you curious about, how it learns, how we use it or something else. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go specific here. I'm going to say the black box of generative AI. So we'll see kind of how uh, how technical uh, this this new um, this new GPT, the TutorMe GPT, is. So it's kind of a technical term. I don't, you know, who knows? Maybe they're you know teaching about black boxes and you know fifth grade for artificial intelligence. We'll see. Uh, but pretty good. So it's uh, simplifying this, and it's kind of just starting to to write uh, work backwards, which I love. Uh, this is a great way to to learn a new topic, a new subject. Um, so I'm just gonna say, what else can what else can the tutor me uh, GPT do? All right. I always uh, recommend that you ask a GPT specifically what it can do. Uh, that's going to help you better understand how it can best help you learn. Uh, so again, it says it can provide practice problems and subjects like math, science, and more. Uh, break down complex topics into simpler parts to help you understand better. Uh, encourage you to think critically. So this is great. So I think a lot of people think of using something like this if you're, you know, in elementary school or, you know, grade school or who knows, maybe junior high, high school. But I think you can also use uh, this to learn basic concepts that maybe you need for to grow your company, to grow your career. So I'm just going to ask something. Um, so I'm just going to say, uh, what is a 
um, common business KPI in logistics. So I'm going with something maybe that, you know, a normal, you know, elementary student probably wouldn't ask. And we're going to kind of see how this can uh, help, you know, maybe you, if you're a professional, maybe you're, you're new in a role. So um, there we go. So it's even bringing in, you know, information that's probably, you know, very helpful and relevant to many people out there that are already in their career. So I think this, uh, again, this, uh, the, the chat, G, uh, the tutor me GPT um, is, I think, going to be a very popular one uh, from uh, Con Labs and uh, kind of the Conmigo light. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please let me know. Go to youreverydayai.com. And hey, I think the Tutor Me is, is going to be a very popular GPT. Uh, all right. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.